Greetings everyone. This is Dexter Wakefield with the Tomorrow's World webcast. I'd like to begin by telling you about something that happened to me recently. Last month, I had the privilege of keeping the Biblical Feast of Tabernacles in Jerusalem as part of our church-sponsored tour there. On the morning of October 13, our group was scheduled to visit the Temple Mount to get a look at the al Aska Mosque and the great golden dome of the Dome of the Rock. We arrived early, and then things started to happen. I took some videos with this small camera, and in a moment, we'll show you some video clips from that visit. Now, despite the explosions we heard, the people in the videos seemed calm because there was a strong police presence nearby and dozens of explosions had already been set off by Muslims in the al Aska Mosque area at just a short distance from where we were viewing the Dome of the Rock building. But the explosions were still unnerving for all in the Temple Mount area, just as they were undoubtedly meant to be. Shortly after we arrived, the Temple Mount was closed to other visitors due to the explosions, and that set off demonstrations by the Muslims around the Temple Mount area. Now, let's view the video clips. It is lively up here. I don't know what that is. I'm glad we're up here and not down there. And the wall will be rebuilt even in perilous times. Hmm. <laughs> Then on Thursday, October 30, there was an attempted murder of a prominent rabbi, Yehuda Glick, which resulted in the temporary closing of the Temple Mount area to all visitors. This prompted riots by the Palestinians, and the head of the Palestinian National Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, called the closing an act of war. In Mark 13, 32 through 37, Jesus gave us some important instructions. But of that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. Verse 35, watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming, in the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. Now here's an explicit instruction by Jesus Christ to all of us to watch. But what are we to watch? World events, of course. God has a plan for mankind, and He has given us an important overview of the past and future events that are relevant to that plan in His Word. Prophecy is future history, and the Tomorrow's World TV program and the Tomorrow's World magazine put current events into this critically important prophetic narrative. Here are some things that Tomorrow's World has long said that you should be watching for. One, the unification of Muslim power under a strong leader, probably reinstituting the Muslim Caliphate in the Middle East. We've said that for many years. This will likely be accompanied by increasing violence towards Israel and increasing pressure on the Europeans. Watch for it. Also watch for attempts for international control of Jerusalem, resulting in an agreement allowing the animal sacrifices to resume by the Jewish priesthood in Jerusalem. The ending of these sacrifices will begin the Great Tribulation as described in Matthew 24 and elsewhere in the Bible. Then look for Jerusalem to be the eye of the storm as world events increasingly revolve around it. You need more detailed information about these matters, so go to the tomorrowsworld.org website and request your free copy of this informative booklet, The Middle East in Prophecy. 
Also, you can request your free subscription to the Tomorrow's World magazine. All of our literature is without cost. There's no follow-up request for money. Both publications will keep you up to date with current events as they relate to biblical prophecy. So go to www.tomorrowsworld.org or visit us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. This is Dexter Wakefield for the Tomorrow's World webcast.